Alright, so I just picked up an NVIDIA Shield, the uh, K1 tablet, and I have a new Bluetooth Xbox One controller, and I have the original Xbox 360 with a module over there. I haven't yet been able to get a NVIDIA Shield controller for this system yet. They're all out of stock. So that's why I picked up the Bluetooth controller. Now there's a bit of a problem with the Bluetooth controller. When you go to console mode it disconnects and seems to have a bit of an issue with the console mode. So this video I'm going to go over showing how to get the Bluetooth controller working in console mode. So turn the tablet on. We'll get out of this here. We're just going to go in and we're going to clear out all of our Bluetooth connections. And forget everything. So there's nothing, only controllers. Off. Turn back on, so as you see we're starting blank. No controllers. So I'm gonna now go back to the main screen. I'm gonna plug in the OTG for my Xbox 360 controller. And now I'm going to plug in my HDMI cable. I'm sure you light in the way. So as you can see, I get the pop-up. Do I want mirror mode or do I want console mode? So I'm going to turn on my Xbox 360 controller so we can see that it's working. So pretty obvious it's working. So now we're going to go in the console mode. All right. Well. Alright, so again the console mode is just going into GeForce now by default pressing the home button. Takes us back to the main screen and we're going to want to go in to the settings. And then we're going to go and this right joystick, I mean analog, sorry, adjust the, the move around on the mouse. So we're going to go in and press A on settings and now we're going to go to the Bluetooth. So right here you see there's nothing happening. I'm going to press the Xbox button and I'm going to say no to this. cancel the pair. Cancel.
And now I'm going to refresh. And you're going to see Xbox controller is now connected. So this is now done with. Unplug the OTG. And now I have the Xbox Bluetooth controller working so the purpose for this is using the OTG takes up the, the mini USB so when gaming you don't have anything to charge your your tablet while you're on the NVIDIA grid here. But now, since I have the Bluetooth controller hooked up, I can plug in a USB charger and play my games. It's just a quick workaround if you don't have the NVIDIA Shield controller or don't want to spend 80 Canadian dollars on it. Thanks for watching.